Hey YouTube, how's it going? I read an article the other day and it got me thinking. The article was titled that EA doesn't see a future for the 3DS, Wii U or the PS Vita. I got mixed feelings about that. I mean, if they're making games, if it, let's say for example they come up with a new IP now and chances are that game's going to take, what, a year at minimum if they're using, let's say, the Unreal Engine or if they're or maybe even free, depending. If it's a game that's going to take, let's say, one to three years, then there is no point supporting those platforms because, well, let's put it this way, the Wii U, I, I think it's got maybe a year left in it. 3DS, I don't know, maybe one or two years. The Vita, the Vita depends. I think it's going to surprise people how long the Vita is going to last for because, from my understanding, as long as... Um, developers keep developing games for the Japanese market and as long as there's enough incentive to translate those games from the Japanese market and then release them for the rest of the world the Vita will keep living especially if indie developers keep putting out games for it but from EA's point of view yeah they're not interested in small in small in, in loads of little small profits from the Vita they're, they're, they're after the the big money and at the moment, from their perspective, that is on um, the, the Xbox One, the PS4, Steam, and the mobile market. I mean, I read an article saying that, you know, the, the mobile market's on the verge of eclipse in the handheld market, which I'm not really surprised, even though the vast majority of transactions, well, the, the, the amount of transactions in the mobile market that actually involve money passing is very minute. It's like... Was it like one and a half percent or under six percent or something that's stupid? So what I'm saying is I can understand why EA is not making any games, not putting any games in development now and then targeting those games for the Wii U, the 3DS or the Vita. I understand that because from their perspective, you know, it's a gamble. Chances are those, mar those systems aren't going to be available. Especially when the uh, the Nintendo NX comes out, because I imagine when that comes out, the 3DS and the Wii U are gonna just be dead. But it doesn't explain uh, EA's actions for the last couple of years, because you got to bear in mind if a, if you, I mean, it's not like when a new plat when a new platform comes out, it's not like you know Sony says, "Hey, we got a console, you know, make games, you'll make money." They have to support that platform. They support it. They make games. They in turn help build the platform, and then eventually, they benefit from it. It's like with the Dreamcast. I mean, EA were burnt so many times by Sega. They basically said, "Fuck you." You know, they said, "We don't think the Dreamcast is going to be a success. We're not going to help." And that's exactly what happened. Within what, less than two years, it was discontinued. So what I'm saying is, EA has a a lot of power, and if they don't support a platform, especially good platforms then that's not going to help them. I mean, imagine if EA had re released you know, a steady stream of games for the Vita. I think things would have been a little bit different. And especially with, especially with the, the Wii U, if they kept releasing games. But I understand why they didn't, because there wasn't an audience, well, at least an audience for their games. I mean, at the moment, I think most people who have a Wii U are just hardcore Nintendo fans. So that's my thought. I understand why EA is not developing any new games, but they probably could have done more with those platforms in the past. But what's your opinion? I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.